volcanoes. Volcanoes are another of nature's disasters that people think of as being spectacular and yet frightening at the same time. So what happens to lead to a volcano erupting? For a volcano to occur, a number of things need to happen first before you get the spectacular eruption taking place. First, you need magma moving upward. So if this is Earth's surface, deep within Earth's surface is where the magma primarily resides. And it can find its way to the surface a number of ways. One is along a plate boundary, but it can also just find little cracks and crevices and work its way up to the surface. In reaction to the magma moving upward, the surface is going to start to deform. And so you're going to get a mound associated with this upward motion. So essentially we're looking at uh, some plastic deformation. Tying back into our stress and strain. As that pressure continues to increase, as more and more magma starts building up, we are taking the surface to the breaking point. Now at this stage there might be uh, tremors, little earthquakes associated with it. Uh, you might get some outgassing, some gases being released as a result of this. Uh, but certainly there will be measurable effects prior to eruption. So the eruption is basically fracture. So the rocks couldn't take it anymore and that's what leads to uh, the eruption. You're going to, of course, get lava, but you're also getting gases. Um, one of the dominant gases released is carbon dioxide. Also water vapor is released. Uh, so you get all of these things that have built up eventually erupting out of your volcano. And because there was so much pressure, that's why it is so explosive and so damaging. So when you see a volcano erupt, think about all the pressure that had to build up before that eruption actually took place. That is a volcano.